Hey and welcome to Neverwind with Aragon. So yesterday we obtained the new combat enchantment for damage dealers, which was the Mythic Lightning Flash. The main reason you'll say it's for damage dealers is because it has the equip bonus of increasing your damage by 10%. And then it has the other benefits. So you would compare that to other enchantments which also have that base 10%. Now, we shall also be able to obtain a new enchantment which I would say is pretty much directed at healers there's no real reason anybody else would use it and you'll have to grind your campaign get to week three 300 points and then you will be able in the enchantment section to purchase this refulgent fortification before we buy this, we can see it's going to cost you 100,000 astral diamonds, 500 of these glyphs of warding, which you get by doing repeatable quests and heroic encounters within the new Menza Branson zone. For example, this quest will give you 60 of those glyphs. Then you need again 150 of these elite sigils, which you'll simply get by either partaking in this lockdown event you see under the minimap or over here, killing those those captains, those drider captains, you'll see them on the minimap, or by killing many bosses within the zone, or by filling up your assassin's meter and killing the assassin that comes to attack you. It's a bit of a grind to get that many of those sigils, but it's doable. And then you just need 70 of the mint, which you again just simply get by doing your quests within the zone. For example, here you could get 25 for a weekly and five for a normal quest. However, you have a cap of 100 per week of that mint. So now let's go purchase that refulgent fortification combat enchantment. Buying it there, you can see on its green rarity, it will already give you the bonus, as we can see, decreasing your threat by 4%. And then whenever you cast a single target heal on a target in combat, the target gains 1% movement speed and a 0.2% reduction in the incoming damage they take for six seconds with a maximum of three stacks. So we've got to go upgrade this thing to Mythic. We'll go ahead and do so. It's gonna cost you the standard costs here to get through the ranks. Just keep in mind as 0% chance to upgrade. So your general best bet is to use Coalescent Motes but it will depend on how many preservation wards you may have from grinding certain events. You'll see the costs again through the ranks just there, getting to legendary and finally to mythic. On mythic, it gives the exact same item level as any other mythic combat enchantment, 5,000. And you can see it now states that it will decrease the threat by 20% and additionally increasing the target's movement speed by 5% and reducing the damage they take by 1%. So this could stack three times. So 15% movement speed and 3% less damage received. Personally, I think already from the get-go, it's pretty underwhelming. I wouldn't really see a whole lot of reason a healer would use this. I would say it's better off a healer can just run the same mythic lightning flash to gain the 7.5% critical strike. Yes, they gain a damage bonus with it, which is pretty useless to them, and they gain accuracy, which is also pretty useless, but the alternative is to just run flash freeze for the debuff, but you might not get hit a lot in certain content, so this might be useless on you as the healer. Fortified nature is only really good if you take damage over time, a dot, which can reliably stack these, and otherwise soul shield, all of which don't really have a whole lot of impact, especially when the tank's already using flash freeze, which they kind of should, because they're the most likely to get hit and thus can sustain this benefit a lot easier than anybody else. So yeah, I would say healers are just gonna go with lightning flash too, unless this refulgent fortification actually gets an improvement. Let's have a look how it works. I'm gonna go copy that over to my healer. You can actually make them account wide, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. You could see we can trade in our mythic lightning flash and our mythic refulgent fortification, which we obtained new. Trading that in will create an account unlock version of it. I'm not going to do it just because in case I want to be able to give these to other people so that they can test it here on the previous server as well. So Mythic Refulgent Fortification is now on my healer build. Again, minus 20% threat is useful, but the only real point I see reducing your threat is when you're fighting lots of adds. When you're, let's say, in your dungeon 
Vault of Stars, Templar Spider Master, so on. And you're in those places where the ads spawn. And when they spawn around you, initially, they're going to jump on the person who has the most threat. And if nobody has hit any of those enemies to gain threat on them, then the healer, the person who has done the most healing, is the person with the most threat. So just reducing that threat by 20% is not going to do anything when your teammates haven't done any healing to compete with the amount you've done. So I don't really see that threat reduction as useful whatsoever. Yes, a DPS player could run with this, but then they're just losing damage and that's kind of silly. And a healer using this is never going to compete with the threat they generate, like a DPS will generate, by their damage. Not in a long shot in your single target fights. So it would only be useful in AoE and uh, pretty much all AoE fights don't really matter that much unless we get, let's say, Hardcore Temple of the Spider. Even then, you don't have, like you had in Vault of Stars, an arena where ads will keep spawning in and then they might jump on you. And like I said already, reducing your threat by 20% there is not going to help because nobody else has threat on the enemies except you. And even if you have a smaller amount of threat, you still have more than everybody and they'll still jump on you. <laughs> you get my point? So let's have a look, right? Can we proc this thing on ourselves? We can indeed. There we go. We are obtaining refulgent fortification. That is pretty neat. Does it increase, let's say, our movement speed? We'll have a look. Our movement speed is 45%. We're just using our at will here. One, two, and three. And now we should have 50% movement speed. Oh, we have 60% movement speed. My bad. Yes, 45 plus 15 is 60%. So it works in regards to giving us movement speed. We move a bit faster and you can proc that on anybody, but only with a single target heal. So for most healers, your only single target heal is your at will. Some healers might have some features to make this an AOE heal like the Bard. And then you also will have your tab heal like your channel divinity for a paladin healer that is our hand of divinity and this is a single target heal again some classes like cleric have ways to make that into an aoe heal so that might not always be the case but using that tab ability we now have let's say uh, the angel wings activated on us and using this tab should give us the refulgent fortification it does indeed you don't have to heal for much at all in order to trigger that on the target, they take 3% less damage and they gain a boost in movement speed. Yeah, I guess it's useful, right? Um, there's not that much better options again for a healer, at least for a healer who's capped their stats. If you want to go ahead and use the new Mythic Lightning Flash, we'll have to do some attacking. It's very easy though. You can just go attack a dummy here like three times and there you go. You get your bonus of 7.5% critical strike and then it's very nice to get that stat boosted. And I personally think that'll be what most healers will use, especially since not many healers will actually use a single target heal. A lot of the time, tanks don't need any dedicated single target heal. And even when they do, like a cleric healer will just use their Bastion of Health or a Paladin healer could just use their Divine Touch. No, a Paladin healer will use their tab heal, but we're not gonna be like spamming the tab heal like you would have to do in order to gain the full bonus of that refulgent fortification, right? You'd have to use three of these tab heals in order to trigger that on somebody. And it doesn't even seem to be triggering on me now when it does if I only heal for like a short period. No, there's definitely some bugs with that. Let's remove it and let's re-equip it. We try to trigger it with our... Okay, and we have to have the healing mark, the wings on us for that to actually trigger it like that. Yeah, but you get my point. It's only going to last six seconds and you have to get stacks with it, the three stacks with it. And a paladin healer, you're only going to do like one big shield before the tank takes a big damage. You're not going to do multiple things. I guess you could do one big shield and then you could use two heals of your cure wounds. But you're just wasting so much divinity for a minuscule benefit and otherwise yeah, it's only 3% damage reduction and you're better off just to be honest increasing your stats. So personally for a healer this new uh, 
The fault in fortification is just a bit of a disappointment. I don't really see it as all too viable. They could change that. Who knows? I personally would change it to make it so that it like doesn't have stacks and just straight up gives you like the, the target 15% movement speed plus like at least 5% damage reduction. So hopefully this was somewhat insightful you guys what's coming with module 25. Again, it's still all open to change. It's just a preview server. A special thank you to all of these channel members and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.